What's up? I'm hoping <clears throat> this is the second time I've tried this. Like the first time the signal was too shitty and it was chopping up. So I don't I don't I don't know if this one's gonna be any better. I don't know I don't know what to do. Like the surface is right here and the router is like five feet that way. So I'm not sure what I can do better. So since I didn't put it in the comments for this one, like this is the Kickstarter for Tampon Man and Applicator Boy is going right now. And it's almost to the point where we've unlocked a new cover. So I have to draw, I have to draw that cover. So that is, that is the reason I'm trying to do this because we are only a couple of hundred dollars away from unlocking a new cover. So I was like, oh man, I need to have a new cover. Plus I needed something to do today, right? So welcome to the project. Yeah, I do. I still haven't figured out the the whole streaming thing. Like, uh, I'm just now getting back into it. Like, I, I I first was doing a lot of streaming when I thought I was going to do podcast stuff. So I did that for about a year, trying to figure out streaming and working with Joey Galvez to do that thing, and then. Then I was just like, this is a waste of money. Like, I don't feel anything happening and I can't continue to pay for this StreamYard stuff if I'm not if I'm not going to use it. So I just canceled my thing. And then now I'm like, you know what? I need to build an art channel on YouTube. Like, I need to, I need to build up an audience because even people that don't have, even people that don't have Facebook, or Instagram or Twitter, everybody has YouTube. So I'm doing myself a disservice by ignoring YouTube if I want to try to just reach people and, and increase awareness of me and what I do. So that is why I've, I've, I've begun to start trying to build up my my YouTube awareness channel stuff. That is the main reason I want to want to do that. Another thing that prevented me from doing a lot of streaming I don't know if it prevented me, but another excuse I made for myself for not doing streaming the whole time was I can't listen to the music I want to listen to because all the social media stuff will boot it off because, you know, you don't have the copyright, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And that was true, but now I have these headphones that sit on top of the ear instead of in the ear. I've never 
liked having headphones in my ear to the point where I can't hear the outside world. I am too, I'm too much of a uh, control freak that I need to be aware of my surroundings at all times and headphones robbed me of that. So I just, I just never really enjoyed headphones. But with these little things, like I can hear, I can hear the outside world through them anyway, excuse me, and still hear my music. The, the, the side effect is, or the downside is that these can only get so loud because they're sitting on top of your, so depending on how loud your environment is, they may not be right. Like I did a convention the other day and these things couldn't compete with the, the noise that the, this is the Liefeld homage. So if you're just getting here, uh, Steve, check this out. So it's, this is the New Mutants 98. We got Applicator Boy, Tampon Man, Max Heavy Flow, uh, Yeast Master, one of the Gonorrhea Gang, Colonel Crust, and Thunderclap. And they'll all be set up in like this New Mutants 98 uh, homage. Something like that. So yeah, we're getting close to the point where I have to unlock a new cover and I didn't prepare myself so now I have to make said cover because what I wanted to do with the tampon man and applicator boy was I very much admire how how much people are really invested in the do you poo and all the homages and stuff. And I, but I just wasn't a fan of like, you're using Deadpool and Winnie the Pooh to get your stuff over. So what I want to do is I want to create my own thing and then just do like all those different homage covers like they do for do you poo, but it'll all be, tampon man and applicator boy stuff so i was the goal is to do all of these covers sweet i have to add whoops it went away might have to add to the day one bundle no so the way this is set up is that once we hit the ability to do this it'll just be this cover will be a 15 dollar add-on that everybody can just add to whatever they've already purchased you know what i mean i because i can't i don't want to exclude anybody and i don't want to create a whole new tier so that people feel like they missed out so i just want to have this as an add-on and then if we announce it you know we post then people that have already pledged or whatever can go ahead and be like oh you know what i want to do that too and they don't have to re they don't have to re uh think about their pledge they can just just add this to what they've already got that's the best way i could figure to make it happen i don't know i'm not a suit i'm not a kickstarter or crowdfunding guru by any means so i don't I don't know the best way to do stuff and I don't spend enough time using the platform to figure out all the idiosyncrasies that it may have or tricks or whatever you can do. And I just, I don't feel like reaching out to people like the, the ones that are Kickstarter gurus. I'm just like, I, I don't want to have to pretend to like somebody just so I can get information from them. So 
That is what that is. So, he got his little glasses on. He looks like he's kind of like, oh, God, I can't believe what's going on. Oh, right on. I appreciate it, man. But yeah, so this, I'm, I'm really excited. Because it's not, my goal is to not have it quite look as animated as the interior art. I can't, I'm not talented in that way. But I'm trying to add like a level of like true comic book style, like what I American style comic books to to this. Like that's the way I did the uh, Invincible cover. Was I went into it knowing I'm like, all right, I know this is a cartoon thing, but let's let's try to make it look a little bit like as traditional comics as we can and see what happens. I don't quite have everything figured out. Like you can, you can see how much thought I put into this. That's it. That's as much thought as I put into this. So I'm trying to figure out like what's going to be what and what color and how dark we should shade it and stuff like that. All right, Steve, have a good day. Thank you for stopping by. So I, I hope this will, I hope this will keep people seeing kind of where I want to go with the Doing the homages, like, oh, he's trying to do like the the what's called the do you poo stuff, and the answer is yeah. Like I'm trying. That's a that's a great model for uh, to follow. See, I, I really just don't know how I'm going to. I don't know what I want to do with the eyebrows because they're, so, they're supposed to be like a solid black. But I don't think that that's going to work here. So. That's just something that's really hanging me up right now is how do I how do I treat these? The weird thing about these headphones that I'm wearing is they're, it's like a separate signal. So now my headphones are just, one is slightly behind the other one and you can hear like this echo. And that gets, so the only way to fix that is to like Turn them both or, or, or un Bluetooth them and then re Bluetooth them. So we're working our way down. And once we get Tampon or once we get Applicator Boy done, we'll go over to Tampon Man since he's the next one. And then we'll go to, and then this will all just be fun bullshit on the side. Then we'll be done. So I'm hoping to get this done today. Maybe not in this one stream, but I'm hoping to get this done today. And I'm hoping to get it done before wrestling comes on. That's that would be nice. Now, the thing is, I won't have this colored probably by the time it needs to be presented to everybody. But Demir's pretty fast, so 
I'll put it up even as black and white and then just let people pick if they want to wait and see what happens or if they want to go ahead and get it now. I don't know. All right. Let's do this. There. And then what we'll do, I made a mistake. It came out of the line a little bit on that one. And then I hope you're having a good day. Hey, Lee, or Les, I'm sorry. That's great work. Thank you for sharing with us. Dude, thank you for giving a shit. I appreciate it, man. Like I, anybody that can, th that, that, like you guys or people in general, just allowing, allowing me in their life to, to be a creator. Like that is the only way I make it. You know what I mean? Like, if you guys didn't care, then I can't, I'd have to go get a real job. Not that I'm afraid of work. I I did, I was a police officer. I was in the army. I was a janitor. Like I've done, I've had my share. I've worked at Taco Bell in high school. Like I've had my share of, of real jobs. And right now, you guys have helped place me in a position to where I can try to do this and make this work until until the day I die. And that is fucking awesome. So if anybody gets the thanks, it's it's you guys. So I hope this, I hope this will read properly. I hope it'll look like it's like I like it did in my head when I sketched it out really quickly. <laughs> there, but it's not so bad. That's not so bad. Got to be careful because sometimes that stuff takes a while to dry. See, gosh dang it.
So come give me a hug like I'm getting in the club. Do you need someone that can help you expose your... Nope, I don't. Like when you do a Kickstarter, man, everybody is on your jock about all those companies. I don't know what they do or what algorithm they have, but man, they are... Let's see what, let's see, we'll see together. Where'd it go? 52 backers, look at that, boom, bada boom. So we're $300 away from needing this extra cover. See, there's my invincible one. And then there's the B cover by Michael Ratliff. And there's the characters by uh, Chris Goings did the artwork here. And then here are the stretch goals right here, see? So at 3,500, a new $15 Liefeld homage cover gets unlocked and we donate $100 to period.org. So, awesome! Yeah, we're almost done with this dude. We're almost done with this dude. Almost done with this dude. Look at that fingerprints. I'll tell you, no matter what I do, there's gonna be some damn fingerprints. I promise you that. Gonna be some fingerprints. I think I know where they come from now. It's like somehow there's inky stuff all over my desk and I'll rest my hand and then I'll go to put my hand on the thing and then it just transfers over. I really need to maybe be in the a better habit of cleaning my desk after I flick ink everywhere. See, now the, the, the delay in my headphones has gotten really irritating. So we're going to regularly remove your personal oh. info, like your name and, and address boom, we're back. from 10 popular people search websites. So I hope you guys are having a great wedness day.
Andre's in the house. What's up, party people? I, I wish there was a party going on here. I appreciate the the vote of confidence. But we're just celebrating Tampon Man and Applicator Boy over here. Yeah, we're pretty close to unlocking a new cover, so I needed to make a new cover. Otherwise, there's nothing left to unlock, right? So that is what we're doing here. We're doing this uh, New Mutants 98 homage. You can see it underneath here. That is the goal. All right, we're pretty close. Pretty close to being done with this dude. Oh, let's see. I want, what, is, what are you saying, Andre? I want to be Applicator Boy next year for Halloween. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it would be easy. I mean, you just, I'd love to see it. How about that? Like, I think really, like, Max Heavy Flow is, Max Heavy Flow is my favorite. The, 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 the maxi pad because he has wings and he can fly but because the way the character is written is that he he's just really really good at being a superhero and he's he doesn't even really have to try like it, it's just i don't know how else to say it but like when i was in high school and i think maybe a couple of people can identify with this there was always like the cool, suave black guys at school that were just good at basketball, good with the ladies, good at doing everything. I don't know why they all, but something about growing up African American, growing up black, it, you know, there's a there's a confidence, like an air about you, but just this, yeah, I'm that damn good. So that's that's kind of what I want that character to be is just like he doesn't have to try to be good he just he's just good and then he he'll be a little humble and say ah you know what it's no big deal but just that really cool like everybody wants to be his friend person and for me that was modeled like when i was in high school like it was usually the black guys that were just the coolest of the cool I'm sure that's not always the case because I also did, you know, get bullied by a couple of black dudes. So it wasn't like universally true, but. All right, we're so close to being done. I mean, I got to do the little cape, right? The little cape and then the shoes and then we'll move on. Then we'll move on.
this comic sounds like it should be picked up so let's let's i've got some time so i'm going to tell a story well come on man show a comment this comic sounds like it should be picked up by adult swim or netflix so back in 2002 time period i had just gotten out of the army and really started to i came home and i wasn't sure what i was going to do and my friends and I had always done like music, rap specifically. And my friend Jake was responsible for making all the music that we rapped to. Like he was the beat maker. He was the producer. He was also the one that was responsible for doing all like the editing and the layering when you go to lay your voice down and so he was very he's very knowledgeable like how that's working so when you know when we weren't there he would fill his time up with just making new beats or whatever and then jake one day said hey you guys need to listen to this and he had done like a like an audio recording of a skit and he said it was just audio at the time and he said oh tampon man and applicator boy are here to save the day and it was like this whole skit and then he did some more skits and so he just kept making them and i was like dude this shit's hilarious and uh so i was like well i can draw a little bit so i'll draw what i think these guys look like so I drew what I believe Tampon Man and Applicator Boy look like. And, and we were cool with that. And then I was like, you know what? I started thinking about other stuff like in the world, like aside from Jake. Like I was like, all right, well, let's see what, where can they live? You know, what can go on? And then at the same time I was pitching, I, I thought I was going to be a movie script writer. And I had sent a, a, a movie script to a production company here in Atlanta. And the production company wrote me back and said, we don't feel like this is what we want right now, but do you have anything else you're working on? And I said, oh man, I'm working on this thing with my buddy, Tampon Man and Applicator Boy. And they said, we would really like to hear more about that one. So the production company, we had a meeting and uh, they were very interested. So I started trying to write like what I figured the next episode, like a, like a full episode of a cartoon would be. And then I started putting a lot of thought into the backstory. And I, I was really banging my... I was really just trying to come up with all this stuff just to make it so that they have to turn, they, they have to enjoy it. So the production company ended up, I'm not going to tell you any numbers, but it, I didn't know what I was doing at the time. So the production company said, Hey, we'll buy that from you. And I was like, Oh shit. Like, that's awesome. Let's, let's sell it. So we sold to the production company and we stayed on to help them like try to come up with ideas they had brought in a couple of uh voice people or other creatives and we started trying to come up with ideas and then eventually it just kind of i stopped getting the calls i stopped getting the emails and it was just it was dead as far as i could tell so I was just like, all right, well, we made a little bit of money. And when I say a little bit, I mean a little bit. And I didn't know enough at the time that I should get something. I should have sold them the option instead, instead of selling the outright rights to it. I should have sold them an option, which means they have a specific period of time to try to make something happen. And if they don't, then the rights would come back to me. That should have been the way I'd, but I didn't know any better. 
so uh so i just sold the rights and then it just it, it went away nothing ever happened and then i launched loggerhead in 2019. oh well what back then the goal was like they said when they bought the thing from us they were like oh man this really feels like it would fit right at home with adult swim and all the stuff that they have going on and i was like yes that's what we were thinking as well and so we were very hopeful and then the the hope just gradually went away went away went away went away and uh so then in 2019 i uh i launched loggerhead and the producer the production company said hey we still have the rights to tampon man and applicator boy would you like them would you like to buy them back and i was like all right cool so in 2020 i bought the rights or maybe 2021 uh, i bought the rights back from the production company so then i owned it again and then that's when i started uh writing the story that it was going to be the first issue because i was like now i'm in a position i'm in a position to i've worked my way through comics that maybe now i have a little bit of a following or an awareness about what i'm doing people may pay attention to me so i was like dude if we make this comic book and this comic book people are all about it then maybe this will be like the the new chance to have it picked up for Adult Swim or something like I'm maybe somebody will see the potential that the IP has. So I was like, let's just do the first issue. I didn't want to like create like a oh, let's do a hundred page story. I really just wanted to do one issue, see how if it, how well it was received. And then I said, at the very least, what I can do is just do all the variant covers like uh, like the do you poo stuff. Like I can just continue to do variant covers. And every time I go to a show, I would have like, oh, this is the new variant cover. And I was like, that, that'd be fine with me. Like that's, that's perfectly okay. And uh, so now just the Kickstarter has been going for a couple of days. Well, a day. And I'm like, all right, it's already got my brain thinking like, ooh. Like I can think of different ideas that I may want to do with the next story and the next story. So maybe I'll turn it into into more stories. These legs turn out fucked up. Because there's all sorts of there's all sorts of fun pun wordplay that can be done in this world. Like, uh, I'm not going to say what I was thinking because I don't want to give away potential gold right now. But so we may turn this into more. I just really want to see. We'll see. So the last time we checked, it was 52. I doubt it's changed, but let's just see. We'll see if anything has changed. We had 52 backers last time. Oh, we're up to 53. Look at that. We got one more. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Big bada boom. So that's that's what, that's what I'm doing. But it, the idea was to make an Adult Swim style. That was my original. Like, dude, this is perfect. You know, it's Beavis and Butthead and Aqua Teen Hunger Force, like all that. Like that's that's our that's our audience. And Jake, the guy that like came up with the complete idea, Jake is a very big fan of Aqua Teen Hunger Force. So that comes through in the idea. So that's where we are, just having fun. And I'm just happy that 
it's it, people seem to be enjoying the idea of it. I'm back this morning. You keep doing your thing, Brian. Thank you, Mike. I wish, dude, I really wish that you guys, your restaurant was closer, man. So anyone that's in the Conyers area, Atlanta Pizza and Gyro, Euro, whatever it's called. Mike, oh, you're, the dog's about to puke. You hear that? Fuck, go upstairs. Oh, right there. Right next to my feet. Oh, well, there's nothing there. So maybe it's just a coffee thing. But yeah, so be sure to check out Mike in Atlanta Pizza and Gyro. They really know how to treat their customers. They make good food. Even though, they, I mean, they do support me too, right? So that's cool. Mike really enjoys the journey that I'm that I'm on. So he's like, Brian, dude, it's really fun to watch you do your thing. And it, I don't know, I, I don't know how to, when people say stuff like that, I don't know how to interpret that exactly. Like it feels like, I don't, I don't know. I don't take compliments very well. And I don't, I don't know, like, do people like do they like the fact that I'm following my dreams? Do they, or do they just think that, oh, you're good. I want to be, I don't know how to interpret anything, but maybe it's not for me to interpret. I'm going to continue to be Brian. I'm going to continue to do art as long as I can. And I'm going to continue to like try to inspire someone else to just do shit. Like, so maybe that's what people enjoy about what I do is like they, they, they enjoy the sharing and, and watching the journey happen. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. I don't know. Shit. If I knew, then I would do it more. Thank you, Mike. What was really fun about doing this was uh, seeing uh, Chris Goings, the artist for the comic, like seeing his interpretation of the characters because I had always been the one that drew these characters and I'm, I'm not the most creative char character design person I know. So it, I was like, oh, let's see what Chris comes up with and he really he really nailed uh like the yeast master like I had uh, that was a completely I was like oh yeah that's the yeast master because that's not what I had and back when I had it it was king yeast and now he's the yeast master because I I didn't use the word king yeast like as it was originally made because I was like, well, what's he the king of? I didn't, I didn't want to, when Jake created it, the, the character, he's like, oh, this is King Yeast. And then as I was trying to think of the world that these guys live in, I was like, well, what is he the king of? And I didn't want to like, I didn't want to go too farcical. I didn't want it to be like a Game of Thrones style tampon comic. So I was like, all right, well, we're just going to have to lose the name King because eventually some smart ass is going to be like, well, what's he the king of? And I wouldn't have an answer. So I changed his name and I liked the play. So instead of being King Yeast, we called him Yeast Master. And as a 40-something-year-old male, like, I'm familiar with what the Beast Master was. And the wordplay would appeal to other people, probably like myself. So that's where that was like kind of how. Do you have a Captain Crust? No, I have Colonel Crust. Colonel Crust is in the comic. Colonel Crust is in the comic. He got promoted from Captain Crust. 
He got promoted from captain to colonel. He's Colonel Crust. Cap and crust. But yeah, so there's there's a whole bevy of of heroes or villains or just characters in general that occupy this world. So it's just puns galore. Puns, 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 puns. It is a lot. A lot of wordplay and stuff like that. So I, I look, I really want to just do more so that I can get all of those fun character names. Just like see how they react to this one and see how they react to this one. So that that's what I'm looking forward to. So they do, there is a section in this comic book right here where uh, Yeast Master starts naming off some of the villains that he's worked with in the past. And so we get to we get to hear some of the names for some of the characters. I'm not going to give them all away, but there's a lot of fun going on in there. And then there's always going to be new ones. You know, like back in 2002, there was no such thing as referring to the male genitals as an eggplant. So now, like, what can we do? What? Can, how can we make like an eggplant man or? whatever like there's we can always keep uh playing with the words and stuff i mean have a character that's just you know the hulk says hulk smash all the time and like now smash means something different so or now smash means something in addition to that so how can we use that and, and stuff like that is fun I can't go and I, yes, that's great, Andre, but I can't, I can't do this because that what will happen is that I will use a name and somebody will be like, oh, Brian stole that from me because maybe I was already thinking that, right? And then when I do it, you'll be inclined to say, oh, Brian used my idea and Brian didn't give me any money. And there's really no way for me to prove that I had the idea before you typed it. So then now, now I'm in a, I just, so yeah, I appreciate the thoughtfulness, but I can't, I can't entertain the idea that we're just going to come up with cool names right here because like I said, people will, the possibility always exists that somebody be like, oh, that guy used my idea and, and look at him making all this money off of it and didn't give me anything. And, and I don't, I, that's just a fight I don't want to have. but I appreciate the creativity. So I hope that makes sense to anybody that's watching. Like, oh, he just doesn't want to give us credit. No, that's not, that's not what's going on, man. Oh, oh shit. I think everybody should understand that, right? That, that, that feels like a completely understandable thing. So we'll go one, we'll go a little bit lower. It's on the other side of the house. The other side of the head. And then we'll go real 
really small. Ah, uh, we probably don't need that for this. I don't want to do it with this big fat one. I can't, for some reason, I am just not comfortable holding a five. Back to work, Mike. Make some pizzas and gyros at Atlanta Pizza Gyro in Conyers, Georgia. Nobody's watching. See, there's no signal meter telling me how good my signal is or whatever. I don't know. All right, so his head's kind of tilted down. The light's coming from over on this side. So how are we going to treat that?
Boom, son. Stand back. There's a hurricane. Let's go ahead and throw that mouth up in there. Oh, yeah, I didn't add that little effect. There's like a little upper lip here. There we go. All right, so I'm not happy with that mouth, so I don't know. I don't know what I want to do to change it, though. I don't know what I want to do to change it. Fudge. Like, why does it, it feels, maybe it's just not big enough. Just make a decision, Brian. Maybe that's what I don't like. I don't like how straight the lip is. Maybe that's what I... There we go. We made a decision. Now you're stuck with it. God dang, man. That's why I don't like using the five. Look at that wobbly ass line. Nacho! Hey! Come here. I get it. Somebody exists outside this house. I said I get it. Hey, don't go up there if you're just going to go barking again. I don't need that crap. What are you barking at? There's nothing even out there. Stop. What time is it? It's starting to get hungry time. It's one o'clock. All right, so let's work on those. Oh, we need, you know what? We need to work on the mask. Now the mask is dry. Roll out. The roll up. All right, so let's work on the mask. This my business.
Whoop, whoop. What's up, Josh? Hey, Josh, tell me, tell me in the comments what pages you bought, and I'll show them to you. Yeah, so 12 and 20. So here, not to move, buddy. Come on. So these are the original art pages for Tampon Man and Applicator Boy. This looks like page 17. You said 12 and 20. All right, so there's page 12. So page 12 is the first appearance of Thunderclap. And that's the luchador guy that only has arms. So this is page 12, dude. That's a, I tried to put as much specifics when people back and like pick the page, like, cause they're all priced differently. Like for me, this is the first appearance of what's it called. And then I'll sign it right here. It, it's not signed by Chris Goings, but I mean, it's his work. So when you see him, I'm sure he would sign it for you, but it's not technically signed by him. So that's page 12. Uh, let's see. Where's the rest of the pages? Uh, here they are. Let's see. What's this? Page 6. Max Heavy Flow. Here's page 20. So here's page 20 again, and with and another thunderclap appearance, and he's throwing the gonorrhea gang. At so this has everybody in it, except oh, it doesn't have Max Heavy Flow, but you've got Colonel Crust, King Yeast, or Yeast Master, Yeast Master, gonorrhea gang, thunderclap, applicator boy, gonorrhea gang, tampon man, applicator boy. So those are two solid pages, man. Oh, that's page 23. I don't know where I put your other page, page 12. So yeah, so you got the Thunderclap special. You got the Thunderclap first appearance with the first reveal. And then you got basically where he comes back into the story and throws the gonorrhea gang. I think most of the other pages have already been sold as well. I'm just not sure which ones they are. Like for me, I like this one, Max Heavy Flow. Oh, here's the first appearance of King or the Yeast Master. So whoever got page four, I'm pretty sure that's one on there. The first appearance of Yeast Master. Uh, this is page two. This is pretty much the the setup of the story. And this is the final page. I didn't put that one up for sale. I didn't put it up for sale because it was almost it would almost be like a spoiler and I want to keep some of this shit for myself. Uh, so page five. So page 11 is another Max Heavy Flow interaction where he saves these boys from the river. And then that's them dreaming about the uh, uh, what does he call it? Tampon mobile. Uh, I think I had a funny word for it, but I can't think of it right now. And then Yeast Master's upset because something's not going as according to plan. Oh yeah, here we go. So Yeast Master, Rem Job, Summer Eva, and Jimbalo Beard, who is a crab. That's but so there you go, Josh. 
Thunderclap special. Come on, man, get out of here. Thunderclap special. And thank you again, Josh. Oh, shit. There's got to be fingerprints. If it's a silverback, it's got to have fingerprints on it. That's a guarantee. There's fingerprints somewhere on that motherfucker, I promise. Gonna be some fingerprints. So if the light's coming from that way, we'll come down here. We'll just cast that shadow all the way down, man. We don't give a shit. That's how we roll. I'll take that bitch all the way to the back. That'll all be black. Now what you gonna do? Anyone that is familiar with my art style, like I'm I'm all about like let's have some damn shadows. Let's 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 make some let's have some big areas of black ink. I'm all about I'm all about that. So we'll have that be black too. I gotta be careful because the logo goes down here and I don't wanna. Hope to see you back at Geek. Me too, man. Like I said, we have to. Um, so when I was at GeekCon, that was very much uh, Adam or Greg going out of his way to get me there. So I wouldn't have been able to afford to go on that show on my own. But since the convention had me as a guest, they helped pay to make sure that that could all happen. So if if they don't do that, then I really can't go back. But so it's up to it's up to Greg and the radio station to determine whether or not I was beneficial enough for them to have back. You know, if I didn't, if they feel like I brought something to the show. So the only thing that if you enjoyed me being at the show, I think maybe let the show know that you enjoyed me being there and, and maybe that will help make the decision for next year. Like I don't need it for me, but if they they need to know if, if the guests that they brought people enjoyed so they can choose, you know, shit whether they're going to bring them back. I hope to go back. I had a shitload of fun. I had never been to Louisiana before, so that was that. Oh, what's up? Dustin slash, uh, what, what's your brother's name? Shit, I can't, I keep forgetting. I don't know, Two Brothers Comics. Why am I blanking on the name? I don't know why I'm blanking on the name. So Corey, I hope to be back at GeekCon as well. I will hold no grudges. Nick, 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 Nick. <laughs> I knew that I would get shit for that. Like I should just, what's up bro? What's up brother? Like if I kept doing that, then you can't get in trouble. All right, so this is black. So how do we want to do this?
Nick and Dustin. That's right. Uh-oh, somebody just messaged me. Somebody sent me a private message. You hear the little ping in my phone. Let's see what it is. All right, someone's asking a question about the Kickstarter. I wasn't calling you a dick, LOL. Oh, okay. That's just an easy way to remember it. Nick the dick. So it's, I'm back, I'm back, sorry. Uh, I left y'all with dead air. But that's that's just par and part for the course, right? So I'm guessing that Tampon Man has some really good dental hygiene because I I give them some big old chompers and they're always so shiny. Always so shiny. So I need to go ahead and draw the belt so I can know where the 
Like, I'm still debating on whether or not I should even draw the fist right here. Or is it just going to get too complicated in that area? Like, I feel like if I add the fist here, like, it's just going to add a lot of clutter to this section. I don't, I just don't think it's needed. I'm sure somebody will complain about it, but whatever. I'm going to leave it out. Boy, I gotta remember to like this song. Oh, it's already done. There we go. in a bundle to see if they <laughs> all right so i gotta figure out what the tampon man logo looks like again It's a circle that has the, the two blood drips. So all right, so let's put the logo. We'll say the logo is about that big. No, let's go a little bit smaller.
There we go. And then we'll just draw a T, right? Is it kind of tapered? No, it's straight down. All right, cool. Like when I get to the digital world, I'm just going to replace this with the actual logo. So this is just to make it cool on the paper. Yeah, so Dustin or Nick, at $3,500 on the Kickstarter campaign, I stated that I would have another cover unlocked. And I said, I will unlock a, a, a Liefeld homage cover. And so we are almost to the point where I need this. And I didn't have the cover already done. So that is what I'm doing now. So this is the New Mutants 98 homage that I'm doing. But yeah, man, I gotta stay true to my word, right? So if $3,500, I didn't expect to do it like in the first day or two, but here we go. And me being a selfish asshole, I didn't wanna I didn't want to do the work and not have it get used. So I was like, well, I'm not going to do it and then just hope that we get to use it. So I didn't anticipate. So this is going to be black right in here, right? So let's, uh, we'll, we'll just go like this. And then we'll come down to here. So all that'll be black. All this will be black. Back to, I always try to be as efficient as possible in, in life. And so I was like, well, I'm certainly not gonna do the work. And I knew, here, here's, here's the thought process. I knew that I should draw it beforehand. That way I could have it ready, locked and loaded. But I also knew that I don't have the self-discipline to not use it if we never made it to. So if it looked like we were never gonna get to unlock it, I would just go ahead and say, surprise everybody, here it is, because I wouldn't be able to just let it sit there and use it, you know, at Dragon Con or whatever else, like some sort of variant. I just knew that I wouldn't have the self-discipline to wait. So that's why I did not do it before. Because I was afraid we wouldn't make it to the point where it was needed. And I would just be so giddy that I couldn't, I couldn't wait. I didn't trust myself. Because I'm the type of person, like, I'll give away Christmas presents. Like, I'm like... Are you sure you don't want to get your Christmas present right now? Like, that's just, I'm so, I think I did such a good job on getting you this gift. And, and I want you to, I want you to appreciate it right now. So we're at 55 backers right now. So that's awesome. How awesome is that? 55 backers. So thank you. Well, it, it wouldn't have gone totally unused because like I was saying earlier, this the idea is to do a shitload of variant covers throughout the different shows and 
you know, just very much like the do you poo stuff. Like I would just constantly just do all of these covers and always have something new. So I would have used it eventually, but like, it would have been like, Oh, I'm coming to Cartersville comic con. Uh, here's my Cartersville comic con, um, uh, variant cover. But like I said, I don't have the discipline. I would have, I would have not waited and I would have just dropped that shit on Facebook or on the, in the, I would have dropped it right on, even if the people didn't un pay, get it unlocked. Because I'd be so anxious and I couldn't wait. Because I have no ability to wait. So we're getting close. I mean, like I said, this is, I'll have this done by the end of the day. I'm pretty sure. But I don't know that I'll do it all on this, on this live stream. I'd like to, like, I wish I had the audience that was like, I had so many followers that no matter when I went live, like there would always be like 20 people in the chat or whatever. And I could really have like conversations and stuff. So I haven't, I haven't built up to that yet, but like, that's the goal is I really want to just be able to go live. And no matter when I go live, there'll be people like, oh, hey, Brian, what's going on? And then we could talk about movies or whatever else. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. I have not heard this remix of Insane in the Membrane. Oh, well, maybe I have. How do they do his uh, belts? I got to see how. Okay, he does do it with a with a button. So it's like shot a man in Reno, but it's the insane in the membrane. I don't know. Is it Everlast? Maybe it's Everlast. Yeah, it's Everlast. Folsom Prison Blues. Like for some reason, it felt like a Johnny Cash cover. I don't know. Maybe it is. I'm not exactly up on my Johnny Cash library. Yeah, same here. I go live on IG while I'm cleaning books 
time i just want to talk. yeah dude that's that's really the that's what will take it out of me like i'll stop streaming after a while because it just i find myself talking to only me and i'm sacrificing listening to the music that i really would rather be listening to while i'm working because for me music means a lot to me and and it, it, it does a lot of stuff for me and for me to sacrifice that like i want to feel like it's worth it like i, I want people to give a shit and if they're not going to then i'll just listen to my music and not stream but maybe that's just very selfish i don't know i don't know how did i do his belt buckle Your girl keeps paging me. That's how you know you're listening to a Tupac song like from the back in the day because a lot of people paged him. <laughs> it's not something people do anymore. Dial the beeper number when you want to see me, he says. Trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents. I'm shocked, G. Weekends were made for Michelob. I get around. I get around. What is, oh, that's the, okay. Round we go, round and round, round and round. Round we go. Round we go. I know you guys. Well, there might not be anybody watching. Them. Nobody cares about my singing if there's nobody watching. It's like if a tree falls in the woods, does anybody hear it or does it make a noise? 
Like if Brian streams and make a joke, does anybody hear the joke? Does that joke truly exist? That's the real mystery of the day. If you tell a joke and nobody listens, did you tell a joke? It's actually pretty deep. Three, let's go. Because <laughs> my jokes aren't that funny. I get it. And then we'll be done now. Oh, shit. Look at all those likes on Instagrams. On Instagrams. What do we got? 180 plays. Woohoo! Killing it on Instagram. So I started doing this. Uh, oh, look, that's my artwork. Watch this. This this whole thing is my artwork. Oh, you guys can't hear it because it's in my headphones. But yeah, so it's going to change. Like all of this is my artwork for Gen Zeros. How cool is that? Like, so it's a sci-fi series that they did like as an NFT. So they wanted to do like this intro for the series. So I did all of these, all of these images so that they could have the narration over. I was really like, that's pretty badass. Like just knowing that that's my stuff that these guys are doing, but some people may not be their thing. What was I going to look at? Oh, I was going to show you. So YouTube like is trying to get into the TikTok game. So you do like you only get 15 seconds and you put these 15 second videos up. So it's weird. Like you get 1K and then you get four views, five views, 2.7K, four views, 56. Like I, I don't. I don't know the formula, but they say that doing that shit could help you uh, help help you grow your channel or whatever. So I'm doing all the things to try to grow a channel. I'm trying to do all of the things to grow the channel. Like I said, more people even people that don't use social media have YouTube. So I need to focus on building my YouTube. And that's the reason that we've gone back and started streaming again is because I need to really I really need to use the YouTube as my main platform to grow. Yeah, there's there's always going to be uh, algorithms. There's always going to be algorithms and stuff. But for me, like people will go on to People will go on to YouTube and if they want to, they, they'll Google or, or search Tampon Man or they'll search Brian Silverbacks and they can find me. Whereas if someone wants to know more about me and they're on and I only focus on Facebook or Instagram, 
and they've chosen to live a life free of Facebook and Instagram, then I don't have any way to con to get to that person. There's nowhere for them to bond with me. There's nowhere for them to enjoy watching my journey. None of that shit. So YouTube, everybody, everybody uses YouTube. Everybody uses YouTube. Everybody uses YouTube. Well, they're back. They're back. And they're coming on strong. They're back and they're coming back with a vengeance. There we go. All right, so now I can, I hate having that light on. For some reason, it distracts me. And I, so I just, like, I get enough information for me to keep going. And then I just want to turn it off. Like, I, 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 it, I guess maybe my brain is processing, like, the different inputs, like this layer, that layer, and the brightness on my eyes. Like, I just makes my brain hurt Did you get your weapon post? I did. I haven't really got to put it to a lot of good use yet. Someone is congratulating me on funding in one day and they know that I was really trying, I'm trying to use this platform, Tampon Man and Applicator Boy, to like basically fund me staying, staying an artist, like to help, to have it be to the point where I can use funds from Tampon Man and Applicator Boy to consistently be a, cre a full-time creator which I am, but like with a little less struggle. I think my pin is almost out. Let's see. Let's see if we're out of ink yet or not. It doesn't look like we are. It looks like we're kind of low though, right? I don't know. But we're getting close to done with tampon, man. Like I was 
going to have his cape fluttering, but then we're going to cover these faces up, and the wind's already blowing his cape this way, so we'll have the tail go that way. Put these big-ass shoes on. And then once I get the big-ass shoes, then we'll do this area. So the very last thing we're going to do is going to be max heavy flow for anyone keeping track at home. Oy, oy, oy. Oh, and I got a podcast thing to do tonight. Hmm. Got to fit all that shit in. So like I was saying in my earlier streams, the further I get away from the face, the less likely I am to use a, a small fine point pin because the details live here. So I don't really... This doesn't mean as much to me. So I usually use like, because they cover more ground when I use the big ones like this. So if you enjoy these, if you enjoy me doing artwork again and whatever, so please follow the the YouTube channel because the only reason I'm still going to Facebook is because I had been doing YouTube for several attempts and I was just, no one was coming there. No one was coming to YouTube. So I had to buy this StreamYard so that I could do both platforms. But the, the goal is to just stream to YouTube and have everyone know to find me there. Like that's the... That's the goal. So I'd like to grow the YouTube. So find Brian Silverbacks on YouTube. That's the goal. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't done a public, uh, I haven't done like a unboxing or, hey, check out this new book that I got, Jason, like for the weapon stuff. I've been trying to get all this other shit like in order. And the way that social media is, like you got to pick what it is you're going to post today that you want people to see like i'd like to post all kinds of stuff all throughout the day but the, the truth is the more that i do that the more the social media place will wash out what i'm doing and and, and water it down and then i need to pick out which thing i think is the most important and then I'll just do that one. And then hopefully, if I remember, I'll 
post the following day if nothing else has come up where I feel like, oh, that takes... If I knew that people could see everything that I posted, I would post a lot more. But I have to think like if Facebook only lets one post work today, what post do I want that to be? That's not always the case, but I, I do. It's something that I do think about. Like, will Facebook just wash this out? Because my first post today got so much engagement. Maybe Facebook will say, you know what? He's coming back too much. So we're going to not let anybody see this one. And I'm like, well, shit, then I should have just saved that. That's the way I feel that it works. I don't know that it does. See, I just want to like get what I need to and then turn the light off. I don't want to see it anymore. All right, we may be coming to an end for this stream. Like I really need to eat. I'm hungry. So let's just see how many, what's our backer count at the moment? Oh, we're at 55 still. So that's good. 55, whatever. Let's do it. 55, boom. That's 55 people that I hope to entertain. I appreciate it. So we're pretty close to being done with it with this guy anyway we're, i mean we got to come up with a tail and the truth is i never really put much thought into the tail i like i know that some tampons just have like a string and then so I remember hearing an advertisement for one that said, we've got a braided whatever. So I think that is where the idea, like I, I think I, I try to get mine to look like a braided rope or something so that it, it doesn't look like just a plain string. But I don't know. I don't, I doubt there's a whole lot of women running out to get tampon man and applicator boy even though it's not it's not anti-women or anything i just don't think that women feel the need to have a tampon superhero but maybe they need one in their life i don't know i don't know Maybe they need one in their life. All right. 
boop, 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 boop. So, just yep. let's go. Where's my... Oh, there it is. I think I, I'm really going to have a lot of fun with this cover, I think. And I know that Demir is going to kill the colors. Like, it's really going to... Like, King Ye or Yeast Master, the Gonorrhea Gang. Like, this this is going to be the fun part. I think it'll... This will be another cool one. Like, this will be... Everyone thought the cover D was the one, but this one could be the one. I think. She's about to swallow my babies. That's hilarious. About to swallow my babies. <laughs> Phones have unsynced again. But we're at a we're at a good stopping point. Oh well, you know what? I need to do the tail or I'll forget to do it. If I don't do the tail, I will forget it. I've done that before.
shit. There we go. Like, I think my headphones are unsynced, but generally that's how Eminem does his vocals is he'll double it up. And so I can't really be for sure. Yeah, all right, we're almost done. So thank you guys, thank you. I say guys, I hope that doesn't offend people. I wanna be inclusive, but guys is just like a general term for a group of people that consist of males and females. I'm gonna call them guys, so whatever. So hope you guys have a great day. We'll see if I decide to go live later. Who knows? There we go.